Hi, everybody. So um, I have been asked by many people to make a video about uh, fulvic and humic acids, which is very popular lately. Everybody is asking about this um, uh, thing, what is it and what this can do to our body. And today we have a guest who knows a lot about this subject and can uh, explain and you can uh, write the comments and questions during uh, in this video and uh, he will explain later. Okay, so hi, Mr. Scott, how are you doing today? Hi, I am great. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Scott Schmitz and I am from the United States of America. Uh, <clears throat> And a little bit about me, I am uh, somebody who uh, I work in the finance world as far as uh, I own a couple of businesses there. But um, it, about four years ago, I had a, I had a major uh, business that failed. And it, because of that, I had a lot of stress in my life and my health deteriorated. So <clears throat> because of that, I couldn't get energy anymore. So I started drinking Red Bull sugary drinks and all these other things try and get energy again and through the process of it which you're all very well know about because elizabeth talks about like leaky gut and stuff like that i ruined my stomach yeah and stress and is the, of, the main culprit i also got yeah stress yeah yeah so i ruined my stomach and i didn't know anything about it as far as how to heal it or fix it or what even to do. And as a result, I kind of, I got brain fog. I had hemorrhoids. I had um, inflammation all over my body and started, you know, like many people here, kind of just down the path of trying to find out, you know, what works and what doesn't. So I did a lot of self-experimentation and uh, so I, I, what I'm getting at is I don't hold any like degrees. I, I never went to school to be a health advocate or some, I'm just somebody who's been there, had problems, figured it out through the process of elimination. And now because of it, I realize so many people around the world are ill. I have become a quote unquote, you know, practitioner. Now, I stick in what my lane of what I know and what we're talking about here today, and that's fulvic and humic minerals. And uh, before we start, can you explain what um, elimination you have been doing? What have you been trying? How you were feeling? How long did it take? Sure. Yeah. So it was a process of, uh, we live in a very toxic world from the air we breathe to even the water we drink to the food we eat. It's all toxic. And um, uh, I was taking, like, I thought the way to fix this is to, first of all, have a positive mindset, like, yeah, that's, that's going to get it. And then if I take some vitamins and if I work out, that's gonna, that's gonna do the trick, you know? And so I was taking all kinds of vitamins. I, I always keep them over here just, just to kind of remind myself, cause I don't take them anymore. I take a few things, uh, that our body doesn't make. But now that I've been able to heal my gut, I am able to extract the vitamins that I need from the food. And that's the reason why is because of the fulvic minerals that I take is the secret to everything. So if, if you wanted me to give you an exact product, I could probably name off 20 of them. <laughs> no, Ned, but, but you have been eliminating some kind of food. You have been... Uh... Do you, do you yeah. Any changes? Any... Oh, yes, yes. I mean, so obviously I cut the, the Red Bull and things like that out. Um, I, I, for a, a while, I, I got rid of like eating all breads and glutens and I don't eat many carbohydrates anymore. Um, I eat just more vegetables, more plant-based foods. Um, I'm not a huge meat eater, but, uh, you know, I get my protein that way. And, uh, you know, unfortunately for me, I live in the United States where uh, it's just so easy to get horrible food everywhere. And it's difficult to get clean, good food. I remember when I lived in Europe, I could go to the local farmer's market that's there every day of the week and get vegetables that were just brought in from the field the day before. You know, and they were, they were, they were not expensive. That, that is not true here in the United States, but I deal with it. So in, in the biggest thing that 
I was able to eliminate was all sugars. Just sugar in general is the like worst possible thing out there because it feeds cells that uh, lead to causing cancer because that's what cancer feeds on is sugar. And, you know, I'm not going to go into, you know, that aspect because we're here to talk about minerals and whatnot. But, you know, I, I never, I, in the, in the thing with me is I was never like fat. I was never hugely overweight. I just, I had this issue through the stress of not getting energy. And I thought I would do it through the traditional ways. And it led me to researching a lot about why, because these other things weren't working. And I started asking a question of why I came to the conclusion. The reason the answer is why is because my body isn't even able to absorb all these things that I'm taking because I don't have the correct mineral content in my body. Yeah. Okay. Well, we are all depleted in minerals and uh, there is no exception because the soil is depleted from all the pesticides, herbicides, uh, we are killing the bugs and the bugs, the insects, the worms, they are actually creating the minerals. So we are uh, less and less on this and uh, the plants are have less minerals in them so we are completely depleted from minerals so we need to um, get it from somewhere right yeah and that's the thing that you saw I grew up on a farm and I didn't realize that the way that farming is done for the last hundred years um, is it just keeps killing the soil and when you keep killing the soil, what do we mean by killing the soil? You know, most people aren't aware of how the soil works, but the soil is actually microorganisms in the dirt that decompose the organic material. And that creates dirt. I mean, I'm a gardener, so I understand this stuff, but most people, they just think soil is this black or gray substance out there that's dirt. Well, no, it's actually living because there's microorganisms in there that break the plant matter down. Like if you think about it, if you plant, uh, I don't know, wheat or corn or something, those roots go into the soil. And when the vegetable is gone, the roots stay in the soil. They get broken down by the organisms and, and they feed the soil. So and the leaves and everything that's falling down. The leaves and and the poop from the animals and everything. That's all beneficial and microorganism and it's feeding the soil, we need that. Exactly, and when we, and this was popularized through Britain and the Western countries, um, uh, China I think did it for a long time too, but when you actually take the soil and every year you turn it over and then you put the black soil back on top, you're actually killing all that because yeah. now the sun comes in and kills the top oh, layer of everything you just turned over. And so that's one of the huge things is we need to change our farming practices around the world to use no-till where you don't have to turn up the soil. You just plant the seed directly into the soil. But that gets into another problem, our seeds. Our seeds, at least here in the West, are all genetically modified to where they they don't care, and, and that's something I can go into in a little bit later, but our, that the GMOs is another problem with ruining our gut. <laughs> Thanks so so yeah. we're fighting so, such an uphill yeah. battle, it's not even funny. Elizabeth. But actually they put in the seeds, all the toxins, all the pesticides, herbicides inside the seeds. So it will be not good uh, for the infants. If they bite it, they will um, be, their gut will be destroyed and they will die, right? So now that's it in the seed. Genetical modified it, seed, yeah. It's even worse than that. And this is what I've learned from practitioners. So it seems like over the last 20 years or but everybody's just emotionally crazy everywhere in the world, because I've traveled throughout the world. Well, someone explained this to me about three months ago where they said, we, our hormones are balanced by the plants that we eat. Here's the problem. Plants, the seed is what carries the plant's hormones. Because if we think about it, we need different hormones and hormones are found in plants because they're living as well. Anything that's living has a hormone. Well, I was not aware of this. Genetically modified plants 
the seeds, like if you have a piece of corn, you know, the corn that we eat is actually the seed, okay? Genetically modified plants are designed where if you took that corn seed and planted it in the ground, it would never grow. That's the way that these big companies get it to where you have to keep buying the seed from the company because you can never take the seed and replant it like we used to do. My grandfather used to do that. Yeah. Well, the thing that makes these genetically modified seeds not reproduce is they take the hormones out of them. So, so we, we need... We, I have seen um, lemons without seeds. I have seen oranges without seeds, you know? And we say, oh, that's good, you know, it's easy to eat, easy to, but that's not good actually, it's genetically modified. No, we need the seeds of the plant, not, not every plant, because some plant seeds, they're too much, but the hormones in the plants, when we eat them, help balance our hormones. Now, uh, there are other things in seeds that we necessarily don't want, but this is where fulvic minerals come in. And uh, do you want me to explain what fulvic minerals are? Yeah, sure. Okay. So fulvic minerals, if, if we have, there's humic and there's fulvic minerals, they come from the dirt. And if we think of it this way, if you want a visualization, humic is a mineral, let's say it's this big as my fist. Fulvic is maybe the size of the circle, or, you know, if, if I, it's, it's much smaller. They're all minerals and they are comprised of different organic material, but because the fulvic is smaller, it goes into our body easier. So <clears throat> fulvic minerals are the product <clears throat> of that decomposing organic material in the dirt, okay? And it is carbon-based. That is the key thing because there are some other minerals that you can get out there that are salt-based. But salt-based minerals are more difficult for our body to absorb. Since we are carbon-based beings, the carbon-based organic fulvic and humic mineral goes right into our body. So <clears throat> these minerals are found in the dirt from decomposing organic material. That's all fulvic and humic minerals are. That's what all minerals are. <clears throat> They're either salt-based or carbon-based. I'm going to talk a lot about carbon-based ones today because we are carbon-based. The thing that you already mentioned about is the nutrient deficiency. Yeah. We are all vitamin, we are all mineral deficient. And when I spoke in the beginning about the fact that I was taking a lot of vitamins and supplements and things like this and they weren't working is because I did not know that in order for your cells to absorb the vitamins that you're taking, you have to have fulvic minerals that come in and electrify the cell. Imagine it like the fulvic mineral comes in and your cell absorbs it, but it won't absorb a vitamin if your cell is not electrified. So we have to have minerals to even absorb vitamins. Now, when that fulvic comes into the cell, imagine Neg it- Negatively it charged, right? Go. What's that? It's negatively charged, right? The minerals are negative. <clears throat> uh, yes, yes. So imagine it cracks the cell open and mm -hmm. now the cell can absorb. See, that's the thing. It's the absorption levels. Most of us, if you're, if you're mineral depleted, you can't absorb anything because your cell is not electrified. Mm -hmm. And that's the cool thing with fulvic minerals is the very first thing with fulvic is it gives you a lot of energy because it goes into your cells and it electrifies the mitochondria of our cells to create ATP, which is the chemical that we use for energy. That's why Red Bull uses taurine or things like this, because that creates a fake ATP and that's what gets you all jacked up. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's many benefits to fulvic and humic. Now, uh, humic, since it's a larger molecule, it sits in our stomach and humic is what actually gives our body the, the, the ingredients that it needs to repair our stomach. So now when I talk about our stomach, I mean our whole GI tract system, our whole uh, digestive system. What it is, it's called, there's a single cell 
thick layer. So imagine, you know, a sheet of paper that's one cell thick. It is called the epithelial layer. And it is supposed to keep, so on this side, let's say we have our bloodstream, this side is our stomach. When our stomach digests food, the good things go through this epithelial layer into our bloodstream. The bad things are supposed to stay in our GI tract and then we get rid of them because those are the toxins. When we have gut issues, the bad things go right through the epithelial layer because there's have, little yeah. holes. If we have leaky gut, if we have damaged gut, if we have been taking antibiotics, if we have been eating junk food, toxins, they're all damaging these cells and making the holes bigger and bigger molecules can go in, which are the toxins, the bad bacteria, and anything that we eat, like the, the poop can go in the blood and poison our yeah. body and create any kind of symptoms, right? I have been talking about a lot about this. Yeah. Good yeah, and, and mm -hmm. people aren't necessarily aware of why it's even called leaky gut. Well, that's the thing, because there's little holes that get developed in your, your epithelial layer of your gut the toxins go right in. So now the beautiful thing about humic minerals, they sit because they're too big to go through that layer. They actually give the body what it needs to heal the epithelial layer of the gut. That is how you heal leaky gut. You heal the epithelial layer of your entire GI system. So that's why it's important when you take minerals, you take a fulvic and a humic that is carbon based because they work together. So, when you, so that's the first thing because when you can heal the gut, like right now, I am no longer gluten sensitive. I can eat any bread I want because I've healed my gut. So, now here's the thing if I eat it all day long for and I stop taking my fulvic minerals, it will get ruined again. But because I've healed it, if I want to go eat, some G, uh, some uh, MSG food, just really horrible food. I don't get sick and I don't get these horrible cramps like I used to at night. But I, I don't eat it, unless, you know, unless I'm, I absolutely have to because I want to keep track. I now understand how valuable my gut is. It's the most valuable thing I think we have outside of our, our heart, you know, and maybe our brain, but. Yeah, all this uh, is beginning, it begins in the gut. Like Hippocrates says, everybody knows that if we damage our gut, then any kind of autoimmune disease, any symptoms, everything which is in our body is starts from the leaky gut. Exactly. And do you ever talk much about the vagus nerve? Uh, I haven't talked yet. That's a good to mention. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can talk because the, we could talk about the vagus nerve for two hours. Maybe we can talk about that in the future. But yeah, the vagus nerve controls what we crave, but uh, that's the cool thing. And it lives in our gut. It starts in our gut. So since we're deficient in all these minerals, the humic helps heal our epithelial layer of our gut. Fulvic actually carries minerals into the bloodstream. So that's the cool thing. So the fulvic can go through this layer. It gets into our bloodstream. It can carry up to 70 trace minerals. I think more, but 70 is kind of what everybody talks about. So that the cool thing is, is the fulvic is like a carrier. It gets into the bloodstream and then it carries all these good things into our cells, like I said before. So it carries in electrolytes that then um, make the mitochondria start working. And now you can absorb everything. That's the reason why I don't have to take as many vitamins as I used to anymore, because now... The food that I eat, it's and you soft. mentioned it before, our food is depleted of minerals, but let's say that it even has 10% minerals left in it. I now am able to at least absorb the 10% that I'm eating. And that's better than what I was doing before. <laughs> yeah. So it, it's, it's okay. pretty wild, you know, yeah. when, when you think about these things. Yeah, I wanted to ask about uh, detoxification. That's this fulvic and humic acid uh, do something with uh, taking out the bad things from the cells and detoxifying the, the, the body, the cells, and expelling all the toxins, the heavy metals, that, you know. Yeah, so, that's, so, so that is another benefit of the fulvic mineral. It is a chelator. 
It is a detoxifier and it has the ability to carry up to 60 times its own weight and toxins out of the cells. So it brings good stuff in. And then when it comes out, it takes toxins out. So, uh, and I have some actual stats for you. I want to make sure that we get this correct. Uh, so free radicals that go through our body, uh, they require an electron. The fulvic mineral has extra electrons so that these free radicals can grab onto them and then it takes it out. And to be specific, there are 14 teratrillion electrons in fulvic minerals. So that is wow. the number 14 with 21 zeros behind it. That is the secret to why fulvic is the most powerful detoxifier on the planet. Because, so I, I work with many people now and when really sick people start working with me, we have to give them so little amount of our fulvic because especially people who are overweight, because fat, fat is the, Fat is actually a defense mechanism, believe it or not, because fat so encapsulates the toxins. the toxins. So, yes, and we're living in such a toxic world. I now know why everybody's so fat, because if you can't poop or pee all the toxins out, they're staying in your body. Well, your body's smart enough to go, whoa, 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 whoa. We don't want these toxins in our muscle. In our blood, in our brain. <laughs> Let's put it in the fat. In fat. Okay. If you don't have enough fat, let's make some more fat. So I work with people who, who are, let's say they're, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 kilograms overweight. When they start using these things, they start to feel horrible for a little bit because they start detoxifying and they start burning the fat, which now releases the toxins into the bloodstream. But that's the important thing of why you have to have a good diet then. And as long as your stomach is now healed and you drink enough water to flush it out, you can get rid of these toxins. And, you know, and that's just one of the painful things of, hey, you kind of let your body get this bad. It's going to be painful to get it back, good, you know, well again. But that that is the reason why fulvic is so potent is because it can carry so many toxins out and it goes in there. And the thing with fulvic is since it's bringing in so many nutrients, your body starts making all this extra ATP. So you boost your metabolism. And when your metabolism goes up, you start burning fat. It's this whole perfect circle. And here's the thing. A hundred years ago, Everybody was eating good food that had all these minerals in it. They were naturally getting all this stuff. Yeah. No, they didn't have to take any silly supplements or stick to a strict diet of, because I know that you talk a little about strict diets of this, this, and this, and, but we have to nowadays uh, in our world, unfortunately. Yeah. Most of the people are sick nowadays and they're full with toxins and they have so many disease, illness, uh, problem with stomach with, because of taking all the antibiotics and taking all the straight food and chemicals and breathing uh, toxic air. So that's why we need to supplement. We need first to try to eliminate all these toxins as much as we can, of course, and then uh, try to boost our health and our, our immunity, our gut and our, our detoxification pathways. That's why we need to take some supplements. And like this one, which uh, you showed us, and I have it here. Is oh, one. yeah, the black yeah. oxygen, yep. So I'm taking it every day, and I'm happy to say that I just came from a vacation back home for three weeks, and I was eating everything and without any issues. I don't have any pain, any cramps. I was not tired. So I can say that I believe it's working <laughs> for me. How, yeah, and, uh, and there's yeah, I'm taking like one spoon, one teaspoon a day in the water. I don't know, maybe some people may take higher doses. So what is the normal thing? You know, with How our product, take? with our product, black oxygen organics, it's um I so through my research and this process of me trying to get well, I tried, I I learned 
about fulvic and humic minerals specifically in general, or not specifically, in general. And I started to realize that I might be mineral deficient. I didn't know about that product you just held up, the black oxygen organics. So I started using any fulvics that I could get. And I still didn't see results. And I was like, what's, what's going on? This, this should be working. Well, I, one day I was just sitting here going, I'm going to take more. Maybe I'm just not getting enough. And believe it or not, I started taking, so like the, the ones that I was using were in a liquid form and they were in a bottle. I started drinking like half a bottle a day, which got to be very expensive. I spent like $500 a month on minerals, okay? But they started to work a little bit. I actually started to see some improvement in some inflammation that I had in some hand. And, and but, but then I got, I, I, something happened and I, was, I stopped doing it because I was, I was frustrated. I was like, I am not going to keep spending $500 a month for this little benefit. There has to be a better way. And then just luckily... I met somebody who uh, gave me a product that you just held up, the black oxygen, and it really helped me. And the reason why that product is so potent and so valuable is it is very, very pure. And it is, it is so potent that we don't need much of it. So the, the amount of product that like a lot of people start with is like less than a half a gram a day. And here's what I learned. For most people on the planet who are not athletes, we need to get about a half a gram of humic and fulvic minerals every single day to just maintain our normal body. How much is that so, half a gram? Like uh, on the tip of the teaspoon, right? Like that? So for that specific product there, yeah. one a half of a teaspoon is two grams. Yeah, so, so about a fourth of a teaspoon is about a gram. So like me, and that's the range that if, unless you're an athlete, I work with athletes and they have to take six to eight grams a day because they're just flushing it through their body constantly, constantly, because they're working so hard. But for people who are just, you know, like myself, I don't work out a lot and just us, us beautiful people, because we are beautiful, <laughs> we, we only need, let's say a fourth of a teaspoon to maybe a one teaspoon a day that will help us maintain. So I take, I usually take about a half a teaspoon twice a day and that's enough for me. And that's what helped me kind of feel better over time. You know, when I started taking fulvic, any fulvics, and when I started getting the right amount of dosage, I always felt like I had more energy. This product in particular, since it's so potent, it really helped heal my gut. And once I was able to heal my gut, it took about a month. That's when I started eating everything again, if I wanted to. So it took and, like uh, one month to, to feel the difference, right? Um, well, no, my hemorrhoids, it, see, I hate to always put time frames on it because I, some people, they don't see his results as quickly as I did. But the thing that I always tell people is I was already detoxifying. I was already fasting. I was already getting garbage out of my body. When I started using black oxygen organics, it just made it go much faster. So for a lot, like in you, 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 live a healthy clean diet to where it's you you probably didn't see these crazy changes because you're you're pretty healthy already and that's the thing people who are like if this is normal people who are right here when they start using the product they don't really notice a difference but it it is getting you the minerals that you're missing when people are down here and they're just they're really sick they see these huge things like wow and those and that was me i was sick from my hemorrhoid standpoint, because my gut was so bad, I saw benefits with that in a couple of weeks. But in general, it took me a couple of months to kind of get to my level of where I needed to be. And I have some clients that take six months because we're all different. And that's what I always tell people. You can play around with the amount that you use because the other thing that I do and that you talk about is 
I now eat like fermented foods. I eat sauerkraut. I try to add things that I can do naturally that I have learned that you talk about all the time into my diet. And that's why I love what you're doing because you were able to get your body under control naturally because you're a very disciplined person. Me, I would have never been able to do what you did because I don't have your type of discipline. But if I could, I know that your regimen would have worked. The thing is, the, the, people, the people, when they reach the bottom, then there is no way out. Either give up like I was or fight. And you have to fight uh, completely, you know, change your lifestyle and focus on healthy eating, healthy food and everything. And it will come. You have, and you yeah. must be disciplined um, in the beginning. So, uh, and Always people ask me, you know, and when I will be able to eat again the, the bad, the junk food? See, that's the thing. It's that's like, the really? good question, you know. Come on, don't <laughs> think about that. It will come, you know. Just focus on the correct eating, correct lifestyle, lifestyle and take the necessary supplements and it will come. Some people earlier, some later. It took me two years to heal naturally. I was like yeah. researching this and that, trying, you know, I figure out how, uh, what are the steps to follow to, to, to heal faster and now we have this amazing supplements which can help even faster to heal right yeah and that and that's the thing and people ask me that too you know how long do i need to take this and i said well, you need to take minerals as long as you're alive of course and they're like oh and see that's just the 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 problem of now people thinking that this is like a one-time thing and it's like no as long as you're alive you need the correct amount of minerals. I don't care how you get them. I don't care if you use the product that I work with. I don't care if you eat dirt. If you want to be healthy in today's world, you need the right mineral complex, the vitamin complex, the right, uh, and you, you can't have too many toxins. See, that's the problem. All this garbage food that tastes really good. Is just loaded in toxins. And that is the thing. Our body can't get rid of all these toxins. So then the toxins stay in us. They make us fat. They ruin our health. And when, and that's the thing. So the thing that I've done for years and I, I finally re, is I do fasting. So I'll either do intermittent fasting to where I won't eat for three to four days, or I will do like what I'm doing now with a, a business partner of mine. We're doing OMAD. It's called one meal a day. So O-M-A-D. And we are promoting this to where, like I've lost 10 pounds in the last three weeks of fat because my summer holiday, I, I ate too much. I won't lie. And I gained 10 pounds, but I want to show people that you don't have to be this crazy exercise person. If you're getting the right foods in your body and you just eliminate the majority of the bad ones but if you eat at certain intervals it allows your body to naturally lose weight and most people think that that isn't possible and food this is what i always know when i'm fasting after i've fasted for three to four days i don't even want food anymore but mentally it makes me go I realize how dependent on food I am to just get me through the day. Because if we think about it, we look forward to eating. Because most of us, our jobs are stressful. I know yours is. And because of this stress, food helps release the endorphins in us to lower the stress. Well, here's the thing. We don't have the ability to get rid of the stress because most people have, don't have the correct min mineral complex in their body. Minerals, when you get, because that's the hormones that I was talking about before. This product, now I'm going to say one thing about this product that I know that is fantastic. It comes from deep inside the earth and it's over a thousand years old, the organic matter that is decomposing there. It is comprised of over 1,700 different plants. 
And the seeds, remember we talked in the beginning about the hormones are in the seeds? The hormones of 1,700 plants are in the black oxygen. Now, this is what I learned about this later on after taking it. This product in specific, I don't know about other ones, but this one specifically helps balance people's hormones because now we are getting the seeds of all of those plants. A lot of these plants, I think 40 species of them don't even exist on the planet anymore. We still use them and need them. So when we're able to get our stress levels down, we no longer have the craving to eat because we no longer need those endorphins to make us feel good. And you can do that with any minerals. I, I have many people tell me that they naturally lose weight using this product because they're not eating as much. And see, that's the thing. When you can combine good food with eating the correct foods, your body won't even crave food. So you, I always tell people like that, once you start using this product for a few months, you're not even going to want to eat that stuff anymore because your body will not crave it. It's this whole big circle yeah. that nobody talks about fulvic and humic. And it is the most, it's old as dirt. It is the most important substance out there that nobody talks about because it's dirt. It comes from the dirt. It's not cool. It's not sexy. It's not vitamins. It's not protein shakes. It's not all the stuff that is like gets cool packaging is awesome. It yeah. is black, it's black water that we drink or we can use on our body or and we can use. And it's not sweet and it's not tasty. Believe me, you just close your nose and drink. <laughs> no, I. You can it's put okay. a little bit of uh, if you put a little stevia. bit of orange oil or yeah. or you can even put a little stevia in this like. I don't drink coffee, but I drink tea. I put it in my tea. You know, you could put it in your coffee. But, yeah. we, you know, so that's my goal is to try to educate people on fulvic in general. Uh, because you can get fulvics in many different ways. And as long as you're getting it, and once you figure out the right dosage for you, it will benefit you. I, I, I promote this product, you know, black oxygen. But in general, fulvic helps because there's many ways to get fulvic. So, yeah, so this and, is very good product. So thank you very much for uh, your explanation and what is it and how to use it. What are they doing in our body? It's uh, very beneficial to take it. And if people want to get in contact with you, uh, I will uh, write in the description so they can reach you and ask you any questions they want or to order this product, which is... Uh, like this, the package, and uh, I'm sure you have a, a lot another packages, maybe bigger. Yep, ones. that's that's the powder, and then we have the tablets. And yeah. uh, you know, I want to let everybody know that so, like, it's so important, and I tell people this all the time that your regiment of what you teach, when you combine it with this product, it makes it work even better because. If people are going to call me and they're like, oh, I could take it, then I can stop working with Elizabeth. No, that is the <laughs> dumbest, dumbest thing you can do because your regimen is the natural way to do this. This product just makes what you're doing so much better. And when you combine the two, oh, it, it is ridiculous. And like I have athletes tell me that when you eat well and you combine it with a supplement that gives you this much electrolytes and energy, they are able to increase their performance and it is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. So, so the best way is like uh, Scott said, uh, to follow my program, which is uh, eliminating the inflammatory food, the toxic food and everything, healing the leaky gut with also with this supplement will be yep. much, much faster probably. And uh, detoxifying, healing the leaky gut, and then populating with the good bacteria and uh, fiber food to feed the bacteria. And then all the disease will disappear and the body will heal itself and no more problems will be there for anybody. If the people want, they can join your group. I think you have a group where you explain more about this. You have more links yep. and more information and more, I don't know, testimonials there. And uh, they can go there and they can join and they can learn a lot about this supplement. Yeah. Yeah.
Okay. Nice to see you and talk to you maybe next time. Bye. You too. Bye-bye.